In X4, we're going to have a much more dynamic universe. We've focused on that a lot in the past with our previous games, but this time we've given the AI a lot more capability when it comes to managing their fleets, building up their forces, building in new areas, conquering space. And this is something that the player can get involved in as well when it comes to missions. The great thing about our more dynamic factions in this game is that they change the universe much more than ever before and even for us it's not always predictable what it's going to look like. Every start is different and at the same time this really really helps to make the universe feel much more alive than ever before. That and of course flying every ship. Yeah, you can fly every ship in the game. You can fly every small fighter, every medium bomber, every freighter, every miner, every capital ship and carrier if you want to. And it's a lot of fun. The player is always looking for new technologies to research, upgrades for their ships, technology such as the transporter, which can get them into the action really quickly. I think it's a really cool addition to our game. One of the foundations of every X game is the economy that is entirely based on supply and demand. And it's happening all across the universe whether you are there to see it or not. Every good is produced somewhere, transported, and if it successfully reaches its destination, of course, supplies other stations. And those stations base their prices then on what they have available or not. If the ship gets destroyed, prices go up. With X4, we're going even further. It's not just the general wares that are being traded, but every aspect of the economy. That includes building ships or stations. All of it is really based on the resources that are coming out of the universe. They are produced somewhere. An advanced player can become this tycoon that has a massive empire of factories and stations that really affect anything in the universe. The entire market situation is completely adaptable and fluctuating depending on what you, the player, does. The first person experience is completely seamless. There are no loading screens when you fly from uh, fly your ship, land on a platform, get out of your ship, uh, talk to a guy, go back to your ship and undock again. Everything is perfectly seamless. For X4 I created new shaders for the backgrounds and especially for the planets. We added some new features um, where I can now control the sea level, the size of the polar caps, uh, the cloud cover, atmosphere density and also population uh, to dynamically adjust the planet uh, during the design process. One of the coolest features in X4 is management of NPCs. Pilots, for example. If a pilot steers your ship, he will be sitting on the pilot chair, of course, and it is very easy to take over the control. You just click on the chair, the guy gets up, you sit down and take over the control of the ship. He disappears to the back of the ship and the moment you get up again, he comes back and takes over the control again and will continue whatever he was doing before. So if you give commands to your ships, it is very easy to take over temporarily and do something yourself. Complicated commands like trade runs or more, more sophisticated uh, AI commands can always be given through the map interface. The map is your one gateway to everything in the game. And um, you can control large fleets of ships with it. And um, the moment you jump into any of those ships through teleportation, you can, you can take over each and every one of those ships very quickly. This is a very cool feature and one of the highlights of X4. The map has become an awesome tool to manage your universe-wide empire. You can uh, see an entire overview and then zoom in seamlessly to micromanage even the smallest things if you want. You can turn on and off several info layers for trading and other things. You can give commands to your ships directly on the map. It's really cool. What the topic station building, um, the changes from the Earth we made are that uh, you can build stations in separate pieces. You are not bound to any build plans anymore. Um, you start construction of a station with a central module. It's usually a pier, a module where capital ships can dock. And from there you can decide if you are going to expand storages, if you add uh, production components, uh, and also living sections for the people to live in. Um, new engine uses a physics-based rendering approach, which allows us more control over material properties. 
and uh, additionally by using Vulkan as our render engine. We now have a few more resources left that we can invest in some more advanced features. So I think that X4 will be the most stunning X game you will ever see. The most exciting feature for me is that if you stand on a docking platform and you feel like a real person, you can look at tiny details on the ground and you can look above in the sky and see this giant constructions which makes you feel really small and you think you are really there and there are ships parked on this platform and you can walk there seamlessly enter the ships uh, enter the cockpit chair press the button all these instruments are going on in the ship and you start flying around to the next station dock there and uh, you leave the ship and everything is in just in one line it's seamlessly and you feel wow there's no hard cut and it looks all great